Four coming off a 36 position game last week. And North Melbourne, who've won three of their last four games, still a contender to play finals. And Simpkin gets the clearance, bangs it inside, 50 towards Brown, off hands. Maine got on the end of it. Thomas nearly trapped it, rough head. Feeds it out towards Maynard. Boundary line, the only friend he's got. Flicks it over his head, gave it straight to Polek. Tried to break the tackle. Took. Well, he did that last week, Jay-Z. Took a couple down early and got his number taken. Cunnington to Brown, and he won himself a free. It's such a reliable straight kick style that why wouldn't you go to it every time? This time, as we pump him up, it's across the face. Just four last year. Braden Side just standing in front of me here. Uh, had a bit of a laugh to the docks here. Just the wind was taken out of him. Struck it okay. It's across the face a little. And off hands only a behind. Is that a good year? Striking some good form. Mason Cox with the reach. Hands off the bark on immediately. Degoe. Especially this man. First deliberate shot at goal for Collingwood's across the face and only a behind. Goldstein had to back back into it and couldn't get anywhere near it in the end. Grundy got a fist down. Simpkin picked their pocket in the pocket, goes to goal and just flicked away by side bottom. The law spears it to Degoe. Mason Cox and my check out wide. He turned Tarrant inside out. And then he felt for Tarrant and Tarrant got the free kick against him. Metres in from the boundary, so he's got a bit of a gap to aim at. It's across the face. Big Mason Cox kept it alive. Dacos flicked it out. Still a chance. Pocket. Wing tackle. Got it out eventually, but took an eternity. The guy put his head down, hoping for a free. He was face planted. He go and get his own ball back. Big Mason Cox with the reach. Big long tentacle went and got it. Phillips, two goals early last week. One goal early this week. Well, here that they've picked up a couple off the ground here. They might have made it a focus during the week that they wanted to put heat on in their forward 50 and get the loose ball. Yeah, it's a good point, Dave. The last month's been pretty ordinary with the ground ball work, especially, which supports nicely for him. Degoe muscled out of it by Thompson and it can be taken through legally. Pittard sat it on Mason Wood's head a little. Davies Uniac. His drop step was good. Pokes it to a good spot and Darren Thomas gets North makes finals and Thomas has missed that. Shit it through legs. Comes up to Anderson. And Brown on the move. Beautiful pass from Anderson. And he comes with the 50th step and he's done the same thing. Pulled across the face. And it was lucky to score in the end. Rusty earlier, Benny. Trelaw got it up crisp. Opens it up to Grundy, but he had to sit and wait for it. Luck, he's got him. He's slung him 360. He still got away with it. Gave it to Trelaw. And McDonald dumps it through. Danger averted. And what I meant by that, Brad. Anderson back to Pittard. Wood gets up early. Great mark. 13-12 this year. Starts it nice. That was never in doubt. Work of art from Mason Wood. Yeah, great to see Mason Wood. We've seen the upside of Mason Wood. No glimpses of being a real star of the game. This is a ripping mark. Obviously a bit of a mismatch there. Levi Greenwood on Wood wouldn't be an ideal matchup for the Collingwood coaches box. Not sure where Darcy Moore was there. Whether he's on the bench. Fruit, and you can see it already tonight. Larky Brown plucked it. Middle of the pack. He's missed a couple already. Into the field of play, struck it okay, but again it's across the face a little. And now he just spanks it in hope. Larky's going to go here, and the back of the pack, surprise, surprise, Siebel. Watched three players jump in front of him as he stood his ground. In his struts. He made the goal umpire dance, but it's there. He's got it down to Cunnington, to Pittard, to Atley running off half back. Heads in the Larky direction. Got there to contest against Moore. Turner to Larkey to Anderson as the clock ticks down to Brown. That's what he has ahead of him. To the Boos. Collingwood home game here at Marvel Stadium. And he's missed uh -huh. another. Got the Demons. Can you believe it? And good to have the inside of a current player.
David Zaharakis, 200 game bomber with us for player takeover round on Fox Footy tonight as well. Brown got there, slick hands, comes to Dacos. He pumps it towards goal, he needs a good bounce here. And got a bad one, hit the behind post, trying to coach his son to a loss tonight. So, slight conflict of interest. My check kicks it off the deck, and that's a ripper out of nothing. <laughs> He tried the bicycle kick in the first quick kick around the corner. Bit of Lionel Messi about this. Oh, yeah, not a great handball. How's that as Robbie Taylor? <laughs> Thank you, now. <laughs> His mate Cunnington just put him under the bus there. Straight, straight to him. Well, Pollock just got him too tight. Yeah. He needs to be holding. He's caught 15. Atley goes long to Brown. Has he still got the yips? So it's a new quarter, a new man. Makes the angle worse, and he kicked where he ran. He has got the yips. That's four misses. Lined up by Josh Sinkman. That's what you talk about, Brownie, about yeah. the perceived pressure yeah. and the actual pressure. Off hands. Hoskin Elliott around the body. Degoe dropped it. Mopped up his own mess. It might work. Well, he started the fire and he put his own fire out. You get the ball deep inside 50, but North Melbourne actually had the out number there at that contest, and, and both their players went to the back, so Reece Shaw will not be happy at all with that. Even the North Melbourne team, I thought Robbie Tarrant was going to take the mark. Yep. He's probably ready to run around the back and get the cheap hand. <laughs> Drives it long, Degoe stalking it. He got there pretty late. And 50. That's how late he got there. That was good by Pinard. He knew Degoe was coming. Pinard heads in the brown direction. He was edged out of the contest, and at the back, Tarrant Thomas. In the Nap Rising Star Award this year, Taron Thomas, their next-gen academy player from Tassie. That was the AFL average, as you saw, for this spot all grounds, and he slots it after... Just see this to go in free kick against yeah, it. was already a mark, but yep. that was the 50-meter penalty he got paid. So good courage you spoke about from Jasper Pitter. What I liked about Thomas here, he just got back in behind the contest, and so Maynard got caught sort of watching the contest. It was Thomas just smart. Just clever, just came in, he knows. But Davies Uniac back to Zeebel. Beautiful trap. Superb. And then a 60-minute drive down the spine. Mason Wood jumps, can't mark it. Cunnington, outside of the boot. Little delivery to Mason Wood. 100% efficiency for kicking so far. And he misses. I'm missing some opportunities here. Yeah, Ben Brown's missed four shots. A couple of them on his left. Hits a pretty good spot with the kick. Push, free kick north. And it's going to Kane Turner. Yeah. It's 11 scoring shots to six of the stands right now. That'll bend back to perfection. Spot on, Dicko. That's why we pay you the big bucks. And have they wasted all their opportunities? Clear free kick there. Yeah. You're right there, Brownie, because you speak about momentum in football, and, and if you don't take care of that momentum... Yeah, maybe, no. Maynard to Pendlebury to Grundy. Big moment for Brody. Heads toward goal. Yeah, and a little nice. bit of pressure from Goldstein. Yeah. So there's the first game up. Ronnie Hayden getting some work done. Let's hope he's okay.